on guys, Foxtrot back here, and as you can tell by the way I woke up this morning and by the title of this video, uh, now we're in part two of um, Day in the Life of an Archer. So right now, I don't know if you can see very well, so I'm over here at Down Archery again at the new and improved store. Um, since last year, things have changed both at the store and my own, per my own personal self. My equipment's changed, I've earned a couple of sponsors, and I'm also in college. <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to... Walking to Dead on Archery again. I actually work here now, so I'm, I'm now an instructor there. Weirdly enough, ironically enough, really, because um, some of you may know I've been self-taught for the past 11, nope, 11, since 2011, not 11 years. I've only been doing archery for about nine. Um, but for now, I'm going to walk to the shop, uh, work on my bow for a little bit, and let's hit the range, too. Oh, and also, just like the last video, got to start with uh, Dead on Archery some Dutch. Let's walk in there now.
and that's 10. Just finished up the first game out of the Prevail with the new rest on. So, let's take a look at what we got. Last end, oh, I thought I got that one. Last end there. Oh, X10-9. First end, for my first, uh, first game and not shooting indoor in a while or using skinnies. Let's see. So, here's the target. So, I drop one, two, three. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So, I dropped eight. That's a 292. Two, sorry. Two, yeah, 292. Holy crap. Got 292. With nine, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight X's. A little bit of a low X count, but that's actually not that bad for skinnies, so there we go. Not bad. This rest is actually suiting pretty good. And now let's just see what this could potentially do with some of my uh, super drives. So pretty happy with that. So yeah. Um Gonna shoot some more, take a little break like I did um, before in the last video. So I'm gonna take a little break, finish up my uh, Dutch, and then I'll uh, get back to shooting. So I decided to take shots at 50 yards, so we can do that here in this range. Um, trying to figure out the sight marks for 3D and everything like that. So, I'm going to walk down range here. I know I kind of botched a couple of the shots, but um, it's kind of me just getting the hang of the new rest, so I'm still trying to sight it all in. But I know at least one of my shots made it on the target, so... Um, as you can tell, the range is certainly bigger than the other done on archery, so... Okay, well I pulled one shot and that's understandable, so 50 yards could be a little bit better, but not that bad for the first couple of, uh, of shots out of this bow. Probably just me starting to get a little bit tired, but uh... I'm also fighting some allergies right now, so for now, I am uh, done shooting 50 for now. I'm going to actually get on the uh, Hooter Shooter, as weird as it may sound. It's basically a tuning thing for my bow so I can get marks for uh, 3D. Well, we'll see how that goes, but for now, um, I'm going to end it here at the shop. So, cause I'll be here for a while because i still got to work tonight, so I'm going to end it here. So, thank you guys for watching. Glad you guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed, actually, this uh, second edition of it. But um, don't forget to do the usual. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Talk to you all later.